this is their world. The world that they are going to grow up in is going to change. It's going to look very different than it does now. We never could have foreseen the way the recovery would be so prolonged even two years later. We're still working on cleanup from Sandy. It was a catastrophic trauma to the residents. There are a lot of people still not home. There are some people who walked away from their homes or sold the property. People want to live by the water. Is it a risk? Well, obviously with Superstorm Sandy, it was. There's no words for this. Total devastation. Human beings are steering the ship with climate change, and we have the possibility to change the direction. People will look at the map and say, well, Seabright shouldn't exist. Why are you even allowing them to rebuild? By 2050, with the projection of sea level rise, you can see that substantial areas of the municipality become inundated. 46% of the GDP is located along the Atlantic coast. Of trillions of dollars of our economies. We have 400 feet more beach than we ever had before, but it's not natural. We can't build our way out of this problem. We can't harden our way out of this problem. People don't have money to just pick up and move. Everyone just can't get up and move in one mile. Nobody came here offering to buy us out. This is my home. So we're going to live here. Oh, I, I belong to live here. And we're going to adapt. I don't believe that we will find an answer to this through adaption. Towns are ready for the next Sandy. But I don't think any towns are ready for the next Sandy. If the five-foot sea level rise projection model is correct, we're leaving. We're all leaving. Get ready, Pennsylvania. Here comes Jersey. 